Hi guys! So, before explaining the electromagnetic induction, we will first watch the trailer World War III. I was like, oh, I want to The movie is just not all about the controversy happening today, but the weapons that are featured in this, in this video is, is also using electromagnetic induction. So, without further ado, let's get to the video. Revenge. It's similar to President Trump's is what President Truman said to Japan 72 years ago this week. They will be met with uh, five years in prison. Five years in prison. They will be met with fire, fury, and frankly power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Putting Mother Earth, the planet, to an edge. If one miscalculation of a missile, whether or not a nuclear warhead or just an ordinary dumb bomb, one explosion there that would hit somebody would cause a catastrophe. Hello. Hi guys! We're back again with this video and we're going to discuss what is ele electromagnetic induction. Ele electromagnetic or magnetic induction is the production of an electromotive force across an electrical conductor due to its dynamic interaction with a magnetic field. And it is a process where a conductor plays in a changing magnetic field. This process of electromagnetic induction in terms of causes an electric current, it is said to induce the current. The one who discovered the electromagnetic induction is me! Yeah! For the electromagnetic induction is Michael Fardai in 1831. Oh, no. Fardai's first law. Whenever a conductor is placed in an avenging magnetic field, an e EMF gets included across the conductor called as induction EMF. And if the conductor is a is a closed circuit, then it induces current to flows through it. Magnetic field can be varied by the 
various methods by moving a magnet, by moving the coil, or by rotating the coil relative to the magnetic field. Faraday's second law of electromagnetic conduction states that the magnitude of induced EMF is equal to the rate of change of flux linkage with a coil. The flux linkage is the product of number of the torques and the flux associated with the coil. Hi guys! The weapon that are used in the trailer are using the principles of electromagnetic induction. These are the following sample electromagnetic pulse or AMP. Directed energy weapon, nuclear bomb, gas ripple, electromagnetic rail gun, and rotor. So, AMP, also sometimes called a transient electromagnet electromagnetic disturbance, is a short burst of electromagnetic okay. energy. Such impulses origination may be a natural occurrence or mundane and can occur as a radiated electric or magnetic field or a conducted electric current, depending on the source. AMP interference is generally disrupted or damaging to electronic equipment at a higher energy level. A powerful AMP when such as a lightning strike can damage physical objects such as buildings and aircraft the management of MP of this is an important branch of electromagnetic compatibility engineering. A nuclear electromagnetic pulse is a characteristic burst electromagnetic radiation created by nuclear explosion. The resulting rapidly changing electric and magnetic fields may couple with electrical and electronic systems to produce damaging current and voltage. The specific characteristic of any particular nuclear EMP event only according to a number of factors, the most important of which is the altitude of the denon denotation. The EMP effect, the electromagnetic pulse effect or EMP was first observed during the early testing of high altitude air burst nuclear weapons or Glasgow 64. The effect is characterized by the production of a very short hundred of nanoseconds but intense electromagnetic pulse which propagates away from its same with even the diminishing intensity governed by the theory of electromagnetization. The electromagnetic pulse is an effect an electromagnetic shock wave. That's all I beg you! Bye! I love this video. I love this video. Bye. Thank you, boy. Thank you. Bye. Mole na mi. Bye, bye.
Ayo, Oh, bagus, sir. <laughs> 